In this video, you're going to witness three levels of goat, all cooked up by expert local chefs in Vietnam. But first, let's back up. Though goat isn't especially popular in the USA, it's the fifth most eaten protein on the planet. People around the world really like eating goat. Loved in Africa. What is going on? This is goat sushi. Yeah, yeah. The Middle East. It's time to hunt. We need to hunt it? South Asia. Wow. And right here in Vietnam. I feel high from goat. I'm on a mission to find the strange but affordable offcuts you'd never find at Outback Steakhouse. Do you know what the udder is? I do, but I don't think that you eat it. All the way to a seriously expensive goat roasted whole. This looks incredible. It all starts here. Our first restaurant specializes in a cut of meat I didn't even know was edible. No, it's not kidneys or testicles or brains. I'm talking about dining on this. Vietnam is known for so many different foods, but most of them aren't goat. Do you think goat is one of Vietnam's famous foods? This is the restaurant owner, Mr. Sun. Some call him the goat of goat. It's getting very popular now because goat meat is known for being very mild. Like when you eat some food, you get hot, right? No. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe if you eat spicy food. Based on teachings from traditional Chinese medicine, some folks believe that every food contains a different element, which will affect how you feel and behave. This does not exist in the USA. Some foods are categorized as hot. If you eat a lot of red meat, we think that you might be a little aggressive somehow. <laughs> Other foods are categorized as cold. If you eat vegetable, you're gonna wanna chill. <laughs> Goat meat is popular because it sits right in the middle. It's very mild and it doesn't make a lot of change in like how you feel. I will say, when I go to a market, the uh -huh. vegetable people are among the most boring people you'll ever meet. And the meat people, they're fun, they're cool. And a little bit of aggressive too, maybe. I want to talk about the specific food we came here for. Something that I've not heard of anybody eating anywhere in the country I come from. We're talking about the udder. You may have seen them on cows, but this massive mass of mammary glands can be found on horses, giraffes, and yes, goats too. Goats have an udder, and I know, because I've had goat milk. I'm assuming that's where it came from. The udder produces milk for newly born offspring. That's an udder? So the nipple is here, but they already get rid of it, and then they already de-skin it. That is wild. In Vietnam, it's one of the most popular goat parts. It's tender, but at the same time, have some crunchy part in it, and it has some milk taste and really? Vietnamese loves that. Although it's a delicacy in Vietnam, much of the world doesn't see it the same way. Perhaps that's why the price is so low. Sir, thank you very much. We should not shake hands, but I can do one of these. <laughs> the chef begins by cutting the de-skinned udder into thin pieces. Then he slathers them in his own special spicy marinade containing saute, garlic, and sesame seeds. The actual act of cooking is up to you, or in this case, me. So this is breakfast, and it is a doozy. I've got these big old pieces of udder right here. Does that look utterly amazing? <laughs> I'm easily amused, it's not that funny. So this is how it works. You cook Whoa. it right at the table. This is obviously more of a drinking food, something that people would usually not eat during the morning unless they're absolutely alcoholics. While we wait, on the side here, this is a fermented tofu sauce. This delightfully pungent sauce is sometimes referred to as soy cheese. You either hate it or love it. But it's not made from dairy, nor does it look like any cheese I've seen. This is one of the stinkiest sauces in Vietnam. This is more like a blue cheese, but on 500 milligrams of test. It's amazing. It is sour, kind of rancid, but also has like some nutty flavor. I'm gonna grab one of these. It looks kind of like a piece of pork, but all the texture is really similar. It's not like big fatty pieces or sinewy pieces. It's just one thick consistency. So are you ready? Ready, let's, let's go. Let's go for it. Mm. Wow. Oh, wow. That is one of the most unique tissues in any mammal body. First of all, the taste and the seasonings he's put on there are absolutely delicious. Plus you do get a little bit of a gush, like this juiciness coming from the meat. And I think it's just all about the texture. Tender and juicy, yet kind of snappy at the same time. I love this more than any port that I have. This is amazing. I do want to try this death sauce over here. It's perfect together. It's, it has, it's, it, yeah. It packs quite a punch. It's very intense. This is a food that you really don't see almost anywhere else in the world. And I wonder if you can eat this part on any other animal. Good question, because we are eating the udder of a goat, but why not the udder of a cow, a humpback whale, a squirrel? So now I have a new mission in life. 
Stop to go to. If you thought those udders were something, wait until you see this place. Oh, and then he rips the penis from the back. This restaurant actually specialize in goat dishes. As you can see, they have 38 dishes. And some of that are our favorite, raw blood salad and peanuts, hot pot. Peanuts, I love peanuts. But peanuts don't come from a goat, do they? Peanuts. <laughs> oh, that peanut. Oh. What are the health benefits of eating that? Meet the man behind the meat, Mr. Two. Your natural urge is gonna rise. <laughs> Here, he's serving goats nose to tail, so he's had to narrow down a special, customized selection just for us. This is a heart. So these are the kidneys. This is a peanut. Can I see this? Oh, it's very soft. It's, I mean, it's not wrinkly either. So this is the scrotum. That's the proper word for it. Inside would be two testicles. There's nothing funny about that. And then right here is a very, very small penis. It seems like there's many ways you could prepare this, but what do you do here? So it's gonna be a hot pot with Chinese medicines in it. Hot pot, the perfect way to make customers cook their own food. So is this more of a Chinese food or more of a Vietnamese food? The pot first must be filled with tofu, lotus roots, taro roots, and tofu skin. He's Vietnamese, so this is gonna be the Vietnamese way. Add a cup of Chinese medicinal ingredients like roots, berries, and fungus. Then their rich goatee broth containing even more healing Chinese herbs. Balls and heart and kidneys. It's all on this plate, actually. This is literally the same plate they had in the kitchen. I thought there would be more cooking involved. Turns out we do almost all the cooking here. This guy saves a load of money on chefs. So that is our meal. But we're gonna come back to that in just a moment. First, we have our lovely appetizer. Gonads are one thing, but here, they're also offering an appetizer that would be illegal to sell in the USA. It's called deep gun. I'm scared. <laughs> it's just so red. The dish has two key components. The protein, cooked organ meats like liver and cartilage are chopped with coriander leaves. Then the blood, mixed with broth to promote coagulation. Finish with sesame seeds and peanuts on top. Cilantro. <laughs> no? I like the texture. The intestines in there are very crunchy, almost like cartilage. You got peanuts, you got sesame seeds. Like It's a good distraction from the fact that you're actually eating a big lump of hardened blood. That is why you should put that in. What is this? You need to put a little lime. Oh, is that what our raw blood was missing? Yeah, so it's kind of cover that blood taste. Well, let's see if that helps. So much better. It is a 20% improvement. All right, so it's a good warm up. Let's put that to the side. Right here, this is the hot pot. It is already hot. This is all full of vegetables, spices, herbs. The meat right now is on this plate, just big and bulbous and jiggling. We need someone to handle this meat, sir. I think this is the first time I have the experience when they're cutting something in front of me. Yeah, right at the table. It's not quite teppanyaki, but it will do. Wow, he's making a very beautiful pattern on the plate. Okay, heart next. Oh, the heart just gets sliced right Whoa. in half immediately. There's still caked up Whoa. blood inside. So even the blood jelly from the heart, that goes on the platter too. Finally, this is what we're here for. Right down the middle of the scrotal tissue, oh reaching inside, pulling the ball out. Wow. Is it the same with human? To be honest, I'm not, I've never checked. X-rays will not show that. Oh, and then he rips the penis from the back, pulls it out. Hey, it's actually long. <laughs> so this is the penis. He just chopped it into four pieces. Wow, that is very precious. When you put it all together, it looks kind of like a bouquet. I don't even want to put it in the hot pot. I just want to frame it and bring it home. So we have a little bit of everything right now. We're gonna let that get steamed up and we'll try that soon. Time has passed. It is boiled up and it's just kind of a mystery what we're gonna find from here. Oh yes, that is heart. Let's try it out. Tibula heart is dense, is chewy. It's got some gaminess to it as well. Is that a mushroom? No, it's a testicle. It looks so much like a mushroom. It's just missing the stem. They have kind of fold over on themselves. I gotta say, I put it in my mouth expecting the flavor of a mushroom. I got a big surprise. It was not that. It's just a bit fatty, but it still tastes like protein. It doesn't taste like pure fat. I like that. This is the scrotum. To me, it almost looks like a pork belly. Thick skin, there's some fat on the inside. Let's go. 
I love how smooth it is. Like it just went to a spa before coming here. But the taste itself, it's not gamey, not pungent, nothing too awkward. That is remarkable. There is one more key piece I want to find in here. It's going to be hard. I'm searching around. Oh, I've got it. Look at that. I cannot say it's epic in proportion. Can't believe this. <laughs> yeah. All right, you ready? Yeah. Cheers. Well, that's so weird. The urethra is basically like this inner tendon cage. Mm. And then there's a soft skin around that. Surprisingly, I like it. Why is that a surprise? This is a very renowned establishment, well-respected in the community yeah. of penis eaters. <laughs> Anyways, I think we did a good job. We ate all this pretty unique food and we didn't make any inappropriate jokes. We weren't immature about it. Debatable. I think we did great. We have one more destination left. The most expensive goat you can find in all of Asia, perhaps. Let's go. Let's go. Our final and most expensive dining experience can be found here, where they're torching entire goats in record time. The idea all started with Miss Jump. You are the goat of goats behind me. Right here, in fact, that's also a goat. Right here is what this place is known for. An entire goat will be roasted from head to hoof. I have never seen like a full-size goat like that. In that position? Yeah. Yeah, that's a yoga pose. What is it? Downward goat. It starts with a 44-pound goat. We've come here because it is one of the most expensive, pricey goats that we could find in this city. Run a steel pipe through it and secure it with wire. How much is this going to cost? Then the stomach is torched for easier sewing. For a goat like that, seven to eight million VND. Then they fill the goat with their signature sauce blend of honey, pepper, and Indian prickly ash. Why is it so expensive here? Once they top it up, they seal it shut. These goats are very well fed. They eat good stuff. And then also she had the special sauce that they're putting on right now. So she said it would be worth the money. From here, the goat is secured to the hand-powered Grillomatic, where it'll be making stunning uniform pirouettes for the next 45 minutes, all while adhering to a strict skincare routine. Have you ever been served in a whole animal at your table like this? Never. It's hard to believe that this goat can be cooked in only 45 minutes. One of the best meals I ever had in Vietnam was goat meat in Ninh Bin, and that took at least four hours of slow and low roasting. Once this expedited roasting is complete, the goat is wrapped in plastic for 20 minutes. This looks incredible. It's insane. You could give this thing a hug. I mean, it's that big. If somebody has a small poodle, you can't hug it. You'll kill it. But you could hug this. This one's already killed. Exactly. Oh, look. Right, right, right. The one thing they've absolutely nailed here is the color. It's amazing how quickly it went from being that kind of disconcerting creamy white to this beautiful golden brown. You can see the texture is really interesting because they didn't want the skin to be too crispy and they wrapped it in plastic. It was some serious like serial killer type stuff. What we got to do first is try some of this skin. Oh, that cuts pretty easy. Take a look at that. Ow, it's still hot. Oh. Super crunchy, but crunchy in a different way than pork skin. It's very thin too. Maybe you need to mix it with even more meat. Check that out. Brown, crackly skin, and then underneath that, kind of a layer of fat, and then super juicy tenderloin. Let's try it out. You know what I mean? Super juicy, not super tender. So I think it's important to cut it into smaller pieces and just take it a little bit at a time, which normally is what would happen. If you ordered here, I think they would cut the whole thing for you. And then you could eat it with herbs or dip. We're just doing it caveman style, baby. I want to introduce you to fermented soy. Isn't that what we've been having all day today? No, this is fermented soy. The other is fermented tofu. All oh, right, right, right. Now, the big thing is that we need some body part to go with this. They told me that these front arms are really good and tasty. Oh, the juiciness is incomparable. Ooh. And this is where I need this knife to actually be a knife. This knife sucks. Oh, let's put it in arm lock. Oh my god. Oh. 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 Oh, no. That went just kind of okay. <laughs> that did not go super great. So this is what I'm talking about right here. Underneath, almost in this armpit area, there's these super juicy muscles. Try it out. That's getting a little bit more goaty. Right here is that sauce. I'm gonna slop that up oh, in this wow, sauce. Oh wow, that's great. Is that too much? It's never too much. Oh. Mm, that's a good sauce. It's like the right crossroads between funky, savory, nutty. I like it. In a moment, we're gonna try the belly. That is the last most important part. But this, this is what came out of the belly just moments ago. It's really like a concentrated broth. So we're gonna take a sip right now and see how it tastes. 
wow. Concentrated flavor. It has a pepperiness of like fresh peppercorns. All the goat juices have mixed with it. I love that. Right now, I'm gonna put this thing into a suplex. <gasps> put it on the side. They said this is the most coveted part. So I'm gonna cut away some of this belly meat. Oh, you can see it's just still dripping like someone left the sink on. We've got skin, we've got layers of protein, fat. That is a wild section. All right, here we go. Amazing flavors, but a little bit tough. That might be because they kind of seed grilled it. I think the right way to eat this is you need to have a skilled chef who's gonna break down the whole thing, cut it into really thin pieces, and you don't have to worry about the chewiness then. That being said, the dips, the flavors, all that incredible. I think the price is mainly in the size of the animal. It's a good like 20, 30 pounds of meat. But all you have to do is pay for this once and you can be eating goat for weeks at a time. And who doesn't want that? Today, you and I ate three different foods at three different amounts of money, and we need to now say which one we thought was the most bang for the buck. For me, it would be the first one. Oh my god, the udder, I think it's so much better than pork. It's fun, you can cook on the table, and it's cheap. I learned a lot today. We tried a lot of different foods and a lot of goat variations. I had some penis in my mouth. I hacked up a whole grilled goat. But I gotta say, for me, I share your opinion. The goat breast, it was utterly amazing. Something that I never knew about before. I've never seen it in that dense, thick, shape very cool to see and something i will treasure for all time or at least until next sunday best ever food review show is a small team of independent creators and everything we do here works because of you guys click the link in our description to join our patreon and receive exclusive benefits a piece goat they have this gamey flavor and it's been 15 years that he learned how to get rid of that so how do you get rid of that intensity is he gonna say it's a secret every goat place have their own way of doing it but he's gonna keep it a secret oh. <laughs> the grilling area is like the size of a cd or a dvd oh uh oh my younger audience has no idea what a dvd is it's this big it's a small area sorry I usually try to add some sound effects. You would think that vampire gastronomy over the ages would have developed into something like this. Like, oh my God, who drinks blood from a neck anymore? No, you have to add peanuts, intestines. We need someone to handle this meat. <laughs> uh, handle this meat? You need to go to church, girl. Is there a goat in the astrological thing? Yes, actually, Taurus. 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 Yes? Yes. <laughs> Guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I had a lot of fun, and it is nice to be back in Vietnam. So I want to say a huge thank you to Twin. You can follow Twin right here on her Instagram. Here's her Instagram handle. Type in these letters. Polite DMs only. That is it for this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. A, a peace. peace. The honk really came just at the right time. All right, let's go get hit by traffic.